welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am telling you guys all of the things that I stopped buying once I turned 20 or that happened once I was in my 20s. These are definitely things that I feel like a lot of 20-something year olds fall victim to buying or that they keep putting their money into but could be saving it for something else. So all of these opinions definitely are my own and things that I have experienced um, now being almost 26 this September. So definitely you know that all my opinions are my own, not anyone else's. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Make sure you guys also subscribe if you love seeing videos like this from me, love seeing budget friendly, save money, budget queen life videos subscribe because I will make more of these for you guys. Now let's go ahead and get in the video. I do have a list here for you guys, so that's why I'm gonna have my phone out. Um, first thing on this list that I stopped buying once I was in my 20s is fast fashion. This is definitely a big one for me, um, and I feel like it's definitely a big one for a lot of people that are in their 20s. Fast fashion has really, really, really turn the fashion industry upside down, I do feel like. I honestly do kind of want to make a video on this one day, just talking about the fashion industry and how fast fashion has really impacted it. But without getting all into the nitty gritty of fast fashion and what it is and the problems that it causes, um, you know, stores that are like Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Zara, I truly, truly do love like a lot of these places like Zara, like hello, I love Zara, but the last time I probably shopped at Zara was maybe over a year ago. Like it's been so long since I've actually purchased something from them. And honestly, all of those stores like Forever 21 and all of them, like I just don't gravitate towards their clothes anymore. And don't get me wrong, I love trends. I love trendy pieces. I love joining the crowd. Like there is this somewhat form of FOMO that I feel like I am missing out on when I do see everyone else out there like rocking their like crazy orange and green, you know, outfits and the whole like matching set things. But I really take a back, a look back at myself and I tell myself, Paige, like if you buy any of those pieces, you're just flat out wasting your money. You will not wear them in a few months, not even a year, just like a few months, maybe even a few weeks. Like, it's just not worth it to waste my money on that stuff anymore. When I was still in college, I was spending so much money on trendy pieces, sale pieces, so on and so forth, and it just wasn't healthy for me. It wasn't healthy to our world. Um, and just that constant recycling in and out of clothes, it just, it's not good. So fast fashion is definitely one that I have stopped purchasing once I turned into my 20s. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, well, what do you, where do you buy your clothes now then? So a lot of my pieces that I buy my clothing from it is either Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. A lot of the clothes that they have there, those are pieces that have been curated for way months in advance. Fast fashion, if you're not familiar with that term or if you haven't heard that term before, really the meaning of fast fashion is there are companies that are seeing things on the market and making a quick turnaround to produce that item within weeks. And the reason why fast fashion companies are so much cheaper than a Nordstrom is because they're cutting constant corners. They're not stitching down all the way your clothing. They're not relaxing the fabric all the way, so on and so forth. This is why I really wanna make a video about it because I think there's a lot of things that people don't know what's happening in the fast fashion industry and why it's not good for us. But I do buy a lot of my clothes from Nordstrom or from Rack. Sometimes I do buy my clothes from Target. I've actually seen a lot of their factories before, so I love them, J. Crew, Banana Republic. Those are all great places that are not fast fashion related. So that was the first long one, but the second one that kind of falls into the like clothing area is cheap shoes only for looks or trends. Um, I used to be so bad about this. Even when I was like started getting into my 20s, I was still really, really bad about this. I would buy shoes that in that moment I thought were so cute and adorable, but 
months went by and I probably only would wear them once. <laughs> it was so bad. And a lot of times those super, super cute cheap shoes, they just freaking kill your feet. They seriously rip your feet up. You'll get blisters, you'll get bumps, you'll get redness and just soreness and it's just not fun. Buying cheap shoes is just not for me anymore. So anytime I do buy a pair of shoes, I make sure that I really, really wanted this pair of shoes. I've read the reviews on them. I make sure they fit my feet well. Like I never buy shoes now that just like kind of sort of fit me, but look really cute with my outfit. I just can't do it anymore. Number three is tons of excessive cheap makeup. So I didn't really want to say that I stopped buying drugstore makeup because I don't. I really do buy drugstore makeup and I do think there are amazing quality drugstore makeup items out there right now. Um, but I guess what I try to mean by this is like if I see like a lipstick on sale or if it's like, oh, I see this color lipstick or I see this eyeshadow palette that's so pretty. It's like, Paige, how many lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, mascaras do you have at home? You don't need this, you know? Like one single person should only have like two or three mascaras, so many like maybe two or three like eyeshadow palettes like nobody in their freaking right mind needs to have like 20 eyeshadow palettes and 20 mascaras and 30 lipsticks it's just like out of this world and there came a point where i was buying so much cheap makeup that like even when i put it on like it looked awful and then i was just throw it away like it just didn't make sense to me so Anytime I buy makeup now, it's really because I either ran out or it is genuinely a product that has like amazing reviews. I really wanted to give it a try. Like I really thought about it before I just like went to the store, picked it up and bought it. Something like that. All right, number four is cheap alcohol. <laughs> so I recently made this decision in my life that I am no longer gonna buy the bottom shelf tequila. <laughs> I have gone so many years just paying for like the cheapest alcohol. And I did this for two reasons. One is because obviously when you're in college, you don't have that much money. So you really shouldn't be spending a lot of money on alcohol. Um, and also, you know, when you're buying alcohol, it's just like, like you're just peeing it out. Like I'm just gonna piss out like, you know, cheap alcohol. Like I don't understand. And then the second reason really was because I felt bad spending a lot of money on myself because if you guys don't know, my husband, Scott, he actually doesn't drink alcohol. He doesn't like the taste of it and he just doesn't, he just doesn't care about it. So for me, I felt so bad anytime it's like, oh, I'm really gonna spend like over $20 on just myself. Like you kind of feel bad about it. But until recently, I kind of made the decision like me and Sky, we are financially stable. <laughs> um, I'm in a better place in my life where like I don't necessarily drink to get drunk. I just drink to like have a nice casual night, just to relax. Just, I don't know, like just enjoy the ambiance, you know? So finally I told Scott, I was like, I'm not buying cheap alcohol anymore, except wine. I have heard that the cheaper wines are actually better. Don't quote me on that, but I have heard that. But in terms of like actual liquor, like tequila and vodka and whiskey, like I am, I'm not doing bottom shelf anymore. I'm not buying Svetka anymore. I'm not buying Sueza. Is that how you fucking pronounce it? I don't even know. I'm just, I'm like, and it tastes like so like bad. And at first I was like, oh, well like it's alcohol. Like it's supposed to taste like nail polish remover. No, it's not. It's literally not supposed to taste like that. Like that's what I freaking found out in my twenties. I was like, I bought a bottle of Casamigos finally. Oh my God. I couldn't even taste the tequila in it. It was that good. It was just so smooth and you can just taste the notes in it. Like I sound like a tequila connoisseur. So good. Like it genuinely tasted so that is definitely something I am, I'm not doing the cheap anymore. No, cannot do it. Also in line with drinks 
is Starbucks. And I'm not saying that I cut Starbucks completely out of my life, but I have definitely reevaluated how much money I spent at Starbucks. And it was kind of excessive. So I decided that I'm really just going to try to make my own perfect Starbucks drink at home. And it's perfect. I actually really found the perfect like blonde vanilla latte that I'm obsessed with making at home now. So I'm not like I rarely go to Starbucks. And also when I go into my office, that used to be the biggest culprit was when I would drive into Chicago, right before I go to my office, there is a Starbucks there. And I would immediately go in, go get myself a drink. You know, I was thinking like, oh, this will make my day better. And it like definitely doesn't make your day better. It just makes it shittier if anything, literally. I'm not saying that I cut Starbucks completely out of my life, but I do think the 20 something year olds are like way too obsessed with Starbucks where they're literally getting it every day. So I think we need to just like cut it back a little bit. Also, you should really consider looking at the calories in those because they're kind of bad. Next up is hair products. This one was big for me. <laughs> so if you guys remember, old, old YouTube page, I had long red hair. I'll attach photos in case you forgot, but I literally couldn't imagine you forgetting that. And at the time, I was so obsessed with growing my hair and making it look beautiful, making it look smooth and silky. So I would put just so much product on it. But what I realized was all these products either had really bad chemicals or mixing them made them worse for my hair. It just, I wasn't smart about what I was putting in my hair. I think a lot of us fall culprit to commercials or ads or Instagram things that are like, look at this amazing, wonderful hair product. It's gonna make your hair silky smooth, look at me. And they do the hair flip and shit. It's just like, it's not like realistic. Like I think if there is anything in the beauty industry that is like the most false advertising, I truly think it is hair products. Like it really is just not realistic. So for me, all I really use in terms of my hair product is conditioner, shampoo, and heat prote protectant, and on occasion, a hair texturizer. And that's really all I use. I don't do anything else after the shower. I don't put any other sprays, leave-in conditioners, whatever. I don't do any of that anymore. It's just not worth it to me. Also like dry shampoo, I don't dry shampoo anymore. It's just, it's way easier too. It's less to maintain. Next up are cheap sunglasses. I definitely think this is such a bad one for some people. Some people obsess over sunglasses and they have like a million different sunglasses for a million different looks. For me, I really don't buy cheap sunglasses for a few different reasons, but the top two are really that I actually can't see. <laughs> I, You guys probably don't see it too much because I don't wear them on the camera, but I am nearsighted, so I actually can't see things that are far away. Um, so like when I'm driving in a car or when I'm like, when I used to work retail every day, like I can't, I couldn't see anything. I can't see anyone's faces from far away. I can't see street signs. It's bad. So I do have to wear glasses. Um, long story short, I just don't wear contacts and I will probably never wear contacts. Story for a different day. But uh, I, that's part of one of the main reasons I don't have cheap sunglasses because I can't see out of them unless they're prescribed. So I have my own special sunglasses that I can see out of. Um, so that's really one of the really big main reasons. But I feel like number two, when I was able to see, um, I would buy so many cute sunglasses. I was like, oh my gosh, look at these. They're so cute, so cute, so cute. And then what happens to them? They break, they fall apart, they end up at the bottom of my purse, they're scratched, they're lost. It's just so much money down the drain for these freaking sunglasses that are like never to be seen like a year later. It's so sad. Oh my gosh, next up, tumbler cups or reusable cups? Oh my gosh. I, I really understand. I really understand why this is a problem. 
tumbler cups and reusable cups are just so cute you just see them and you're like oh such pretty colors so cute reusable save the planet yes that's me i am that bitch i will save this planet with this reusable cup no you won't you won't i'm sorry i hate to tell you you won't be saving the planet because that freaking reusable cup is gonna end up in the back of your cabinet collecting dust and spideys and you'll never see it again i promise you you will it's gonna go right over your head that you even bought that freaking cup I used to have so many of these cups. When we lived in Chicago and then we finally moved into our house, I seriously had to like part ways with these cups. Like it's so bad. Oh my God, also for me, mugs. Oh my gosh, I had to stop buying mugs. I will not completely and I'll explain. But mugs, oh my gosh, I am awful with mugs. I truly had to just like put a pause to the mug situation. There's so many like dog mom or like PS, you know, my initials. It's like, oh my God, I can't keep buying these mugs. It's so freaking wasteful. And I'm the only one that drinks coffee in this household. So like, why am I buying all these mugs for myself? The only time I ever buy a mug now is for collection purposes. Anytime I go to visit a new place, I do make my way over to Starbucks and I buy their everywhere mugs or whatever it's called or like go everywhere there's there's a name to it but the mugs you buy it has like the name of the place on it so it'll be like Hawaii or Egypt or whatever so anytime I visit a new place I do get those mugs it's really special to me now because I have been going to like a new country almost every year so for me, it's so important to remember like, oh my God, last year I went to Egypt for the first time or last year I went to Vietnam for the first time. So I can see those mugs and it's so cute. But other than that, I don't buy any more mugs <laughs> and no one better be gifting me no mugs either. Last but not least, this, this item. <sighs> Candles. Candles. Candles! Why are 20 something year olds obsessed with candles? Why do we love candles? I don't get it. I stopped buying candles the moment one of them almost caught my house on fire. I'm not even lying. I like legit can't even make that up. And it wasn't a Bath and Body Works candle. Um, and like don't even come in my comments being like, Bath and Body Works set your house on fire. No, they don't. It's not them. It was legitimately one of those um like those crackling wood stick burning bullshit candles where it goes and it's supposed to be so fucking soothing. It's not. I was burning this candle and literally like in our bathroom, like the whole back wall was like black. I was like, I almost had our house on fire. Like, that's so bad. So I have stopped buying candles. They are just bad. So actually, a few years ago, you know, maybe like, I think around two years ago, Scott and I made a decision that we won't be doing any more candles, but instead we now have the Bath & Body Works wallflowers all over our house. So there's one in every single room. And anytime there's like a larger room, there's two of them. Um, and we decided that mahogany teak wood will be our scent and that's what will be throughout the house. So no more candles. I do still have candles that I'll burn on occasion. Like if I made like bacon or something, it's like, ugh, I like need to get the smell out. I'm gonna like light a candle but I do not buy them anymore. If Bath & Body Works has a candle sale, I'm so happy for all of you who go and buy them, but I will not be joining anymore. <laughs> Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys loved all these things that I stopped buying in my 20s. I would love to hear anything you guys have stopped buying or things that you disagree with me on. I love to hear it. Put it in the comment section below. If you liked it, thumbs up this video and make sure you guys subscribe. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and my like to know it where you can shop all my outfits, uh, get more budget friendly tips, life saving tips, anything like that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.